it's Anna, and today I want to design a history bounding capsule wardrobe. So for this capsule wardrobe, I want to include 10 items. One of these I have started work on, and therefore it will be sort of a jumping off point for the rest of the items in terms of being sort of a cohesive palette and look, and the rest I want to design new. Uh, the second thing about this capsule wardrobe is I won't be drawing from one era. I want to draw from a number of different eras because I love a lot of different eras of fashion. I really love the Edwardian era and I think for this autumn slash winter capsule wardrobe I really want to draw heavy inspiration from the Edwardian era, but I really want to see and explore with incorporating lots of different styles from different eras and seeing if I can blend them into a cohesive capsule wardrobe that all sort of goes together. So yeah, today I want to take you with me as I draw and design that and share with you some of my inspiration and I'll link inspiration pics and blogs and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get drawing.
so I hope you enjoyed seeing the design process for these items. I hope you're as excited as I am to see them turn into something real. Turn into? That sounds like magic. I hope you're as excited as I am to work on making these into real items and finding the fabrics, finding all the things to actually make this capsule wardrobe. I can't wait. I love all these items individually. I love them together. And when everything's done, when I have all of them done, I want to try to really use this like a wardrobe. So, I don't know, maybe for a month? I think a month would be a good amount of time to try to really get some wear out of these clothes. But let me know in the comments if you have another time frame that you think would be good. I'm not entirely sure when I'll be done with these items, but yeah, just let me know what you think of that idea. Also in the comments, please let me know which item's your favorite. For me, I have a hard time picking. I'm very excited to have more winter skirts in my wardrobe. Currently, I mostly have sort of summer skirts or like one kilt, one wool skirt, and it gets pretty chilly in the winter here, so I'm very excited to have those. I've never owned a functional cloak before, only costume ones, so I'm excited to have that. I cannot wait. Admittedly, it's the least historically accurate item. I drew the double mantle idea kind of from the Ulster coat, but it won't have sleeves or arm slits or buttons down the front. So it's very much a sort of historical-ish kind of mostly fantasy item, but that's okay. That's kind of the point of this capsule wardrobe is to let myself have some freedom in my inspiration I draw from. Bum? Inspiration I draw from and not be hemmed in by a particular era or even historical accuracy at all, but just drawing inspiration. So yeah, I think that's everything. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. And let me know what inspires you in terms of different eras, different fantasy stories, just anything. What inspires your fashion? Love to hear from you down below. If you liked it, give it a like. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I will link all my social media, all that good stuff down below, along with all the inspiration links and pictures, etc. So yeah, see you in the next one and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.